National health statistics show that non-communicable diseases, NCDs, is the leading cause of death in Antigua and Barbuda, with heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and hypertension being the top four causes. The National Health Summit, the first of its kind, attracted a cross-section of professionals and various stakeholders to discuss the current trends of NCDs. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Rhonda Seely Thomas says the impact of NCDs requires a national approach. Recent studies have shown that for every 10% rise in mortality from chronic non-communicable diseases, a country's yearly economic growth is estimated to be reduced by 0.5%. In fact, the World Economic Forum ranks chronic non-communicable diseases as one of the top global threats to economic development. Thus, ladies and gentlemen, NCDs affect all of us. No one is shielded from the effects of these diseases. We must now recognize that although we may not be diagnosed with one of these diseases, they can still affect us since they can negatively affect a country's development. And unfortunately, this effect is magnified in low and middle income countries such as Antigua and Barbuda. Health Minister Wilmoth Daniel commends his ministry for the efforts to improve awareness regarding the subject matter and pledges government's continued support to the cause. The health sector has taken the lead role in responding to NCDs but many other government sectors, including finance, agriculture, foreign affairs and trade, justice, education, planning, and transport must be a part of a holistic response along with civil society and the private sector. We in the Ministry of Health look forward to working with all of you as we move forward in fighting diabetes and other NCDs. I would like to take the opportunity to thank the team within my ministry for organizing this National Health Summit. I wish to thank as well the Pan American Health Organization for their continued support and assistance to Antigua and Barbuda. The summit included roundtable, plenary and statistical analysis of how best to address the problem at the local level. A representative of the Pan American Health Organization, Dr. Toma Kanda, is of the opinion that the summit will seek to advance efforts to address the impacts of NCDs to the economy. I believe that National NCD Summit with various stakeholders from public and private sector will be an excellent opportunity for people in Antigua and Barbuda to discuss and agree on the need for collective action for a fit and health nation. Also, the outcome of the meeting would provide a clear direction on the country's need for Prime Minister and the Minister of Health to discuss at the UN high-level meeting in September. The National Health Summit is held ahead of the United Nations high-level meeting to be held in September in New York. Sean Thomas, ABS News.